Hello YouTube, I'm uh, gonna try to, sorry I can't talk, I wasn't, I didn't realize this camera was running. Anyway, what I'm, what I'm gonna try to do uh, is uh, replace a scan IC on this buffer board uh, off of a Samsung television. Um, one thing I do need is my magnifying glasses. Here's a business card if you guys have any questions. Okay. Here's the scan IC part number. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'll read it to you. It's uh, 3407F, as in Frank. And the part number on the board is uh, this LJ number here but the what I'm trying to show you guys here is something pretty generic it actually applies to uh, any scan I see because they're pretty much same idea one thing I like I all I did at the beginning is um, remove some of that uh, adhesive that the scan I see have around I just simply use my fingernail and, and just peeled it off and I'm gonna apply a little bit of um, flux to the IC just to allow the um, the pins to lift up without damaging the traces <clears throat> okay now I have this thing turned all the way up and uh, let me find a good, hang on a second here. I found a good, um, what do you call it, a razor blade, something really sharp. I'm just simply gonna go right in the middle, apply some heat. This thing on 480 degrees. This chip is marked over here. This is pin number one. And they all face the same direction. Pin number one is the same on all four ICs. The IC is starting to lift up a little bit here, which is a good sign. Go nice and easy so we don't have to damage traces underneath. I think the tool that I'm using here is not the best tool for this job, so I'm gonna switch with this little dental pick here.
now that I got a good gap underneath there, just come in with a pair of tweezers. Okay, now the IC is off. <clears throat> That's the finished results. It looks pretty good. All the um, contacts are still in good shape. We're just gonna come back with a hot, with a, with an iron. We're gonna turn the iron on, get a little bit of flux here. I like to put a lot of flux. The reason you want to apply the heat right in the center because of this. Center pad. That looks great there. And you want to come back with um, some flux. Normally I would take my flux and dip it into the, um, not flux, uh, solder wick, I'm sorry. I would take my solder wick and dip it right into the flux. But this time I decided to uh, just put it on the board instead. I hate that adhesive that they use on there. I'm gonna try to get more of it off. Okay. You always gonna to go towards the contact, not against it, this wheel won't rip anything off, I mean uh, tear, tear the contacts up. Okay. Get all that heat adhesive off of there. Alright. Um, Come back with a hot iron and just clean the contents.
Let's do a little bit of cleaning, see what we got underneath there. Get some alcohol. Brush this off. All the choices look good. Okay. That looks good right there. <clears throat> Just spread the um, solder evenly because that ice you have to sit flush. When you set it down, it has to sit all the way flat in order for the contact, I mean for the pins to make contact. Need a magnifying glass to make sure all my contacts are good. Everything looks awesome. Need to do a little bit more cleaning, but it, uh, no damage to the traces, which is the most important thing at this point. Um, <clears throat> We need to come back with more flux. <clears throat> I find the best thing to do is take your uh, flux and just dip it right into the. Take your uh, wick and dip it right into the flux. Come back with the hot iron again. Be careful when you're doing that. Don't burn the side here because you're gonna end up ruining that sustain that um, uh, inverter board. I'm going to have to turn that fan up a little bit. I didn't want to inhale all that um, solder. So I have to turn the fan up a little bit. When you do that, don't press too hard, just go nice and lightly. Okay. Everything's nice and clean. When you lay that ice, the new IC down, it has to 
fit on there nicely. Make sure you, have, you don't have any shorts. Always um, examine your work under high magnification to ensure there's no shorts. Let's do a little more cleaning. Looks great. That looks great. And uh, by the way, pin number one is uh, labeled. Let me grab something smaller to point with. Pin number one is right here. It's got that um, little arrow over here pointing toward pin number one. That's how you know it's pin number one. I'm just getting more of that adhesive out of the way. Don't press too hard when you do this. Just go lightly. Just do more cleaning. Okay. That's looking really good. The whole point of doing this um, type of, uh, or not the whole point, in order for you to uh, be successful in doing micro soldering is uh, to be quick. You have to be in and out very quickly. Let me uh, examine these contact, make sure there's no shorts. Everything looks good. I've got to get some of this adhesive out of here. Okay, I should be able to get a new IC. Bear with me a second, you two. I'm going to pause the video here for a second.